All right, everybody, you asked for it. This is my top 10 strike why the iron is cold comic book list. So grab your vibe juice and meet me back here in the comic room. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of, you know, Keep It Comics, back by popular demand. Before I get started, I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for stopping by, checking out the channel. Thank you to all our new subscribers, and thank you to all our subscribers who've been supporting the channel thus far. I really couldn't do this without you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Trust me when I tell you, I do not take the love lightly, not even a little bit. Listen, I know I've kept you guys waiting, got a lot going on in my personal life, but I didn't forget you. So, you guys wanted a strike why the iron is cold list? I put one together. Grab your vibe juice and buckle up. We're going to take a little trip. Listen, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and feel free to ring that bell. So every time I do a video, you guys will get the notification. You guys will be the first ones to be on deck. All right? So without further ado, let's dive right on in. Coming in at number 10. Now, this book isn't necessarily cold, but it was at such a low buy-in that I had to put it on the list. This book is published by DC. It was released on July 14th, 1994. The title of this book is Spectre, issue number 22. Yes. Now, the key factor to this book is it's the first published art by DC of Alex Ross. That beautiful Alex Ross artwork that we're all familiar with. And this is some of his, his first published artwork by DC. All right. Let's talk numbers. The last recorded sale for this book was back on May 17th of 2022 for a raw copy. And it sold for a nice, easy $7.99. This book is trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 3.57%. Now, the average sell for a 9.4 in this book is $49.99. Can I borrow a penny, please? <laughs> the average sell for a raw copy is $6.93. There has been 90 raw copies that have sold so far and just one graded copy that has changed hands, giving us a total of 91 copies of this book that has sold. But Alex Ross has its own has his own significant following, so I can see where this book may start gaining a little ground at. That's why I want to keep my eye on it. All right? Now, the highest known sell for a CGC 9.4 was back on February 13th of 2021, when that book sold for $49.99. Fair market value has this book resting at $49.99 for the most common grade of the 9.4. So, this book is still easily accessible. Uh, they're not asking a lot of money for this book. So, if you are an Alex Ross fan, if you love his artwork and want to grab some of, uh, some of his first publishings by DC, this one will be perfect for your collection. All right? Let's move right along. Coming in at number nine, ladies and gentlemen, this book was published by Marvel. It was released on October 15th, 2014, and the title of this book is The Edge of Spider-Verse, issue number five. Now, with all the solicitations that are out, there's a lot of noise being made about this movie. When Edge of Spider-Verse 2 drops, it's going to explode. So there are a lot of books that are spiking right now. And this one in particular, the key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of Spider and Penny Parker. And I like how they spelled Spider, S-P forward slash forward slash D-R. I like that. It's kind of like a rap. S-P forward slash forward slash D-R P. I-N-P-A-K-E-R. <laughs> Whatever. I'm no rapper, yo. I'm no rapper. <laughs> I just like how it sounds. All right? So, 
the numbers to this. Let's look. Check the analytics on it. The last recorded sale was on May 18th, 2022 for a raw copy. Well, that book sold for $49.95. This book is currently trending down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is down 3.20% right now. The average sale for 9.8 of uh, this book is $204. Right. Which I think that's this is a perfect buying opportunity. Remember, this is strike while the iron is cold. So even though they are dropping trailers about spy into the Spider-Verse, there are a lot of books that may still go under the radar because people are keyed. They're, 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 they're focused on certain keys rather than paying attention to the overall picture. There are a lot of keys out there. Right. So I did place quite a few of them on this list. So pay very close attention now. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. The average sale for a CGC 9.8 is $204. The average sale for a raw copy is $46.17. Um, there has been 612 raw copies that have sold so far and 123 graded copies of this book that have sold, giving us a total of 735 copies that has changed hands on the secondary market so far. And we all know the closer we get to this movie dropping, the more movement we are going to see with these comic books. So keep Keep your eye out on these books. The highest known sell for CGC 9.8 in this particular book was back on April 7th of 2021. Well, that book sold for $305.04. And the fair market value has this book resting at $204 for the CGC 9.8, which is the most common grade. All right. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the very, this is the very first episode of Strike While the Iron is Cold. You guys asked for it, so it was only fair that I deliver, right? You know. Listen, coming in at number eight. This book is published by Marvel. It was released on January 1st, 2008. The title of this book is The Mighty Avengers, issue number 13. The key factor to this book is it is the first appearance of the Secret Warriors. Yes. Listen to the specs on it. Last recorded sale for this book was back on May 18th of 2022 for a raw copy that sold for $3.32. Now, remember, I love these low buy-in price points for keys. Man, if you are a, a person who just wants to fill your collection up with keys... This is the list that you want to be paying to, paying attention to, because these are all keys, and there's not they're not asking a lot of money. Like some, they're not cheap, but you'll find some that with some very low buy-in price points, and you can't do any better than catching a key for less than cover price, right? <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. All right, so just backtracking a little bit, the last recorded sale for this book was on May 18th. 2022 for a raw copy that sold for three dollars and 32 cents this book is currently trending down ladies and gentlemen this book is down 2.92 percent the average sale for a cgc 9.6 in this book is 31 dollars where the average sale for a raw copy is ten dollars and 71 cents there has been 534 raw copies that have sold and 17 graded copies that have sold, giving us a grand total of 551 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Uh, the highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was back on July 29th of 2021, where that book sold for $299.95. Man, could somebody let me borrow a nickel? <laughs> let me have five cents. Can I have five cents? Let me hold it. I give it back to you. <laughs> man so specific with the numbers right fair market value has this book resting at 31 dollars uh for the most common grade of the 9.6 all right so pay attention to this book because the closer we get to this new secret wars we're going to see a lot of movement in a lot of these particular comics these avenger comics these mighty avenger comic books and there are a couple of other keys that are out there that people are going to want to get their hands on too all right so just keep your eye out for that moving right along yes flowing like the ocean let's do it moving right along coming in at number seven this book is published by caliber press 
Yes, we got some copper age goodness, ladies and gentlemen. This book was released on February 1st, 1989. The title of this book is Crow, issue number one, The First Print. Key factor to this book, it is the first appearance of The Crow. This is actually one of the best movies I ever watched. Like, I really enjoyed this movie when it first came out. Um, my wife and I watched this movie several times, man. It was definitely worth watching and re-watching. And I really dug how uh, Brandon Lee uh, put his heart and soul into that to that to that um to that character. I think he did really well, man. So, and and that was always my fascination and 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 my love for this particular comic book. And I'm looking to get my hands on a copy, so I've been watching it for a while. Let me share these these numbers with you. All right, the last recorded sale for uh, for this book was on May 4th, 2022, where a raw copy sold for $850. This book is currently trending down, ladies and gentlemen. This book is down 2.90%. The average sale for CGC 9.4 is $1,260, where the average sale for a raw copy runs roughly about $919 to $20, 900 to, $20, to $919 to $920. Right. Um, raw copies. There's been 100 raw copies that have sold so far and 137 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 237 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, the highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was back in January 14th of 2022, when that book sold for eighteen thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen, for a 9.8. And I'm not mad at that. And like I said, this book, uh, it's coming down a little bit, and I will continue to keep my eye on it just to see where it levels out, and hopefully I'll be able to grab myself a copy. Fair Market Value has this book resting at $919 for the raw copy. So if I can just catch it, if it do a little dip for me, man, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a stick my hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> I just need to do a little dip for me, man. All right? If you guys are interested in The Crow, keep your eye out for it. It's trending down right now. All right, coming in at number six, this book is published by Marvel. It was released on November 23rd, 2016. The title of this book is Venom, issue number one. Venom, 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 <laughs> issue number one. The key factor to this book is it is the Clayton Crane comic exposure negative variant, right? Yes, got to love it. It's the first appearance and origin of Lee Price, who also bonds with the, the Venom symbiote as well, right? So this is a comic that I would love to add to my collection, and I'm going to be looking for this one diligently. Let's talk numbers. The last recorded sale for this book was on July 16, 2021. Um... That book sold for $19.99. This book is currently trending down, ladies and gentlemen, at 0.67%. The average sale for a raw copy is about $19.79. There's been eight raw copies that have sold uh, so far. And the highest known sell was for a raw copy. That was back on January 23rd of 2021, where that book sold for $69.99. May I borrow a penny, please? <laughs> Fair Market Value has this book resting at $19.79 for the raw copy. So if this is a book, if this is a book that you are interested in and have been watching, this book is currently trending down. It's a perfect opportunity to buy this book. I've already um, ordered one copy and I think I'm going to order another one. If this book continues to drop, I don't think, I don't think it's a bad idea for me to have two of these in the collection, right? So there you have it. Venom, issue number one. All right, we've made it. We're halfway there, all right? So let me do what I always do, guys. Let me stop. Catch my breath. Let's take this time and thank each and every one of you for stopping by, checking out the channel. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for inviting me to your homes. Thank you for all the encouragement. Thank you for all the love and the support. Man, you guys keep that comment section lit, and I really appreciate that. Now, although I may not be able to get to each and every one of you all the time, if you notice, 
I do try to comment with you. I do try to communicate with you. And I do try to make sure that we are uh, staying staying connected, sharing that love and that passion we have for the hobby of collecting comic books, right? And I take great joy in doing that. So if I did not get to you, please do not take it personal. Um, but I do have work and other personal obligations that I have to do. So I can't spend all my time in the comment section or I can't spend all my time doing the video thing. Like I, I do have to make sure I'm taking care of the number one priorities first. And then, like I said, this is my hobby and I do this out of love. And I really appreciate the love that you guys show me by being patient and definitely chiming in every time I drop the video. So I do appreciate you. And if this is your first time stopping by checking out the channel, please, before the end of the channel, before the end of the video, consider subscribing to the channel. And guess what? Yesterday was New Comic Book Day. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you guys what I picked up. I have a pretty decent haul. It's pretty huge. And I don't mind sharing that with you at all. So if you hang around, I'll show you what we got. All right? But you guys know the drill. And if you don't know, I'll tell you. Over here, it's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We don't got no time for the nonsense. So if you mad about something, shake it off. If you angry about something, shake it off. If you feeling uncomfortable or uncertain about whatever's going on, forget about it. <laughs> we just going to do comics right now. Good vibes only. All right? I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I don't take that lightly. You guys are the best. Now, let's get back to the program. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number five. This book is published by Marvel. It was published on, DC, on December 1st, 1986. And the title of this book is Transformers, the Movie, issue number one, the newsstand copy. Wow. Yeah, right? The first, the key factor to this is it is the first appearance of Ultra Magnus and Galvatron. I remember Galvatron and Ultra Magnus. Yeah. Yo, I tell you what, man, I loved Transformers as a kid growing up. And look, and they knocked GoBots right out the, they, they knocked the GoBots right out the box. It used to be GoBots and Transformers, but I guess the GoBots couldn't, they couldn't hang, man. But I love them all, bro. I love them all. All right, let's talk numbers. Last recorded sale for this book was back on April 8th of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for an easy $5.50. And this book is trending down, ladies and gentlemen, 0.27%. Perfect time to get your hands on a copy of this book if you, if you were interested in this book. The average sale for CGC 8.5 at the moment is $21.99. The average sale for a raw copy is $6.33. And I don't know about you, but for me to be able to get my hands on a mid-grade copy of this book for $21.99, knowing that this day and age, it costs how much to have something CGC? Man, this is a bargain. This is a straight bargain, right? There's been seven raw copies that have sold and two graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of nine copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sell for a raw copy was back on June 25th of 2021, where that book sold for $65. Fair market value has this book resting at $21.99 for the most common grade of the 8.5. So if this is a book that you're interested in, keep your eye on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number four, this book was published by Marvel. It was released on May 1st, 1984. The title of this book is Marvel Team Up, issue number 141. And I'm talking about the Mark Jeweler variant. Yes, you hear a lot about these Mark Jeweler variants. And here we have another one. And this one is actually trending down. Um, I've been wanting to get my hands on this particular book, so I'm glad that it's, it's, it's moving downward a little bit. It's dipping a little bit. So I think I might go ahead and strike while the iron is cold for this one right here. The, uh, the key factor to this book is it's an early black costume appearance. Um, it's two weeks after 
uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue number 252. So another early black costume appearance, definitely one I need to add to my collection. Um, the last recorded sale uh, for this book was on December 9th of 2020 for a raw copy. Well, that book sold for $55. This book is currently trending down, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, strike while the iron is cold. It is better to be able to get a book for lower than market value. So if you're watching for, if you're waiting on a particular book, um, don't just purchase the first book you see for that first dollar amount. Do a little shopping around. See if you can get a better deal for the book, right? And even if you can't get that better deal at the moment, um, I always like to be patient. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I never want to come off desperate to the person that's selling the book. So I go in with a cool mind and a level head, already knowing what I'm willing to do, what I'm not willing to do. You know what I mean? And I like to try to negotiate a nice, comfortable deal. Um, so if the book is set a little above what I'm actually willing to spend, I'll ask the person if they're willing to bring it down a little bit. And if they're not, then I'll bid them a good day and I'll just wait because eventually the book always goes down, right? Because I, I think, in, and for most of my guys who are out there flipping books and uh, trying to earn a decent living and paying for the hobby or whatever they're doing with it, um, you know, it's just good business to buy low and sell high. Right. There's no profit. If, if you pay in top dollar for a book, there's no margin for profit. So I always like, you know, strike while the iron is cold. That's when you get your best deals. All right. So just to backtrack a little bit, uh, that last recorded sale for this book was back on December 9th, 2020 um, for a raw copy that sold for fifty five dollars. And this book is currently trending down, ladies and gentlemen, at 12 percent. Um the average sale for a raw copy of this book is $55. There's been raw, there's been four raw copies that have sold so far. And the highest known sale for a raw copy of this book was back in November 25th of 2018, where that book sold for $86. But like I said, the fair market value has this book resting at $55 for the raw copy. So if you're interested in Marvel Team Up issue number 141, Mark Jeweler edition, that Mark Jeweler variant. Pay attention. She's dipping for you. All right. Now, we've made it. We're there. We're there at the top three Strike While the Iron is Cold comic books on the secondary market. Excuse me. Yes. This is Strike While the Iron is Cold. Absolutely. You guys asked for it, so I had to do a list. All right? Now, coming in at number three, ladies and gentlemen, this book was published by Marvel. It was released on April 24th of 2019. The title of this book is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, issue number one. I love it. <laughs> I love it. The key factor to this book is it is the Patrick Zerker 1 in 25 variant. Just a beautiful cover. I love it. The last recorded sale for this book was back on March 13th of 2022 for the CGC 9.8, and that book went for $350. This book is currently trending down, ladies and gentlemen, at 0.3%. Um, and the average sale for CGC 9.8 is resting at $350 right now which is still not a bad buy-in for this book because there's still so much room and so much potential for growth in this book considering all the new additions that they're doing to the Star Wars franchise, right? Um, the average sale for a raw copy of this book is $42.49. Um, there has been 12 raw copies that have sold so far and there's been one graded copy giving us a total of 13 copies of this book that have changed hands on the secondary market. The highest known sell for CGC 9.8 in this particular book was back on March 13th of 2022 well, that book sold for, like I said earlier, $350 and fair market value still has this book resting at $42.49 for the most common uh, book sold which is the raw copy. All right, so if you're interested in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge issue number one, um, the Patrick Zerker uh, 1 in 25 variant, keep your eye on it. It's on a downward trend. Perfect time to buy. Perfect time to strike. 
All right? Coming in at number two. This book was published by Marvel. It was released on May 7th, 2014. The title of this book is Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Miles fanatics are going crazy over these keys. Listen, we already, like I said earlier, Into the Spider-Verse has all these books spiking like crazy. But there is still a few of them that no one's paying attention to. They're trending downward. Those are the ones that I'm purchasing. <laughs> there, I told you, that's my secret. I'm buying all the keys that ain't nobody paying attention to. <laughs> Shame on you, C3. <laughs> Bad comic book collector. Bad comic book collector. <laughs> Let's talk numbers. The key factor to this book is it is the second ongoing title featuring Miles Morales, right? Last recorded sale for this book was on May 5th, 2022, where a 9.6 sold for $53. I like that. This book is currently trending down at 0.53%. The average sale for CGC 9.8 in this book is $272. The average sale for a raw copy of this book is $57.66. There has been 117 great uh, raw copies that have sold, and there's been 43 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 160 copies of this particular comic book that has moved on the secondary market. The highest known sale for CGC 9.8 was back on March 3rd of 2022, where well, that book sold for $300. I like that. That's a number I could swing, right? Fair market value has this book resting at $272 for the most common grade of the 9.8. And I like that. I like knowing that fair market value has my book, has my back when it comes to a purchase like this. Because that's what I base the type of money that I'm going to spend. What is fair market value saying about this book and what is being asked of this book? And then I try to find that happy medium, right? A lot of times people want to sell books way over the fair market value price. And most of the time, I refuse to pay that money because that's not fair market. I try to have that conversation with the person selling the book and say, hey, listen, this is what fair market is offering. This is what fair market is saying. This is what I'm offering. And so, you know, they they may counter. I may counter, but we find that happy medium. But to pay that outrageous price that they a lot of people have up on eBay. Yeah, I'm not willing to do that. I'm not around for that. <laughs> Don't hit me with the okie doke. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so just take your time, be patient. All right, this is Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider Man, issue number one. If this book is on your list, pay attention to it. All right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, good vibes only. All right, we have finally made it. To the number one, Strike While the Iron is Cold comic book on the secondary market. Now, this is some Silver Age goodness. And shout out to all the fans of this particular character. This one's for you. This book was published by Marvel. This book was released on, 20, on May 28th, 1968. The title of this book is Silver Surfer. Issue number one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the key factor to this book is it is the origin of Silver Surfer. The last recorded sale for this book was back on May 17th of 2022, where that book sold for $4,354. This book is currently trending down. Uh-oh, excuse me. That vibe juice. <laughs> this book is currently trending down at 0.18%. And the highest, well, the average sell for 7.5, the average sell for CGC 7.5 is $2,367. And the average sell for a raw copy of this book 
is $224. There's been 1,093 uh, raw copies and there's been 753 graded copies, giving us a total of 1,846 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, the highest known sell was back in January 1st of 2017, where a 9.8 of this book sold for $36,000. $9. If I could whistle, you that's what I... There you go. That means that's a lot. To me, it is anyway. It may not be a lot to you, but it's definitely a lot to me. Right? So, but fair market value has this book resting at $224 for the raw copy, which is definitely within striking range for me. <laughs> right? Strike while the iron is cold, ladies and gentlemen. So, Silver Surfer, issue number one, The Origin of the Silver Surfer. Classic cover, great comic book, awesome story. If you're in the market for one, it's, it's now's the perfect time. All right? So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my top 10 Strike While the Iron is Cold comic book list of the week. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll keep my eyes on the chat. You guys can make the recommendations. I read the comments often, and if I see something that the community may be interested in, definitely believe that you guys will be seeing it on the channel, all right? Now, just like I promised, for those of you who stuck around, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up for New Comic Book Day, okay? Now, here's my disclaimer. Some of them are bag and boarded. Some of them are not. Because <laughs> I'm all over the place. I got like, I got multiple pull lists in multiple stores. And listen, some, some, I just, man, listen, I don't got time to bag and board everything. <laughs> all right. But let me show you what I got. And everything's right here. So, and I may have to rip open some bags and everything, but it's all good. Thank you guys for sticking around and thank you for hanging out. All right. So this first one we have is Hulk issue number seven. And this is the Banner War part three. All right. Then I was happy to get my hands on this one. Hulk issue number seven. And we got that, uh, that J Scott Campbell fire. Definitely loving that. Love that. Okay. Move that out of the way. I got my trusty. Hey, you know, don't nothing move. Without that, gotta get your previews. Gotta get your previews, people. Keep you keep you abrupt on what's going on. All right. So, I got Legend of X issue number one. Got the character variant. Like I said, not bag and boarded, so I don't want to hold on to it and stain it with my hands. I have Spider Man twenty ninety nine issue number one. I'm hearing that this is her first appearance. Female, uh, what's her name? Super Soldier? I don't know. <laughs> All right. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 129. I'm hearing that there's a first appearance in that also. We have Batman Beyond the White Knight. This is the, what is this? This is, just have to check the back. Issue number three. Yeah. Batman Beyond the White Knight, issue number three. This one was in my pull box from before. This is Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, issue number one. Obi-Wan. 
we have Halcyon Legacy. This is issue number three. Keeping my eye on that one also. We have Thor, issue number 25. We have Naomi, issue number three. Yo, I am so disappointed that they crashed this book, man. Did you see that garbage they put on? Man, listen, I'm not even going to go there. Perfectly good character. And they just tanked it. All right, we have Crossover. Issue number 13. I love this book. I love that old comic book feel to it. Something is Killing the Children, issue number 23. Got quite a few copies of these, too. Something is Killing the Children, issue number 23. I think this is the regular cover. We have another Incredible Hulk, issue number 7. Some of these may repeat. Like I said, I've got pull boxes all over the place. We got Farmhand, issue number 17. And not for nothing, this has been one of my most favorite reads of all time, right? So if you have not, if you have not read Farmhand, I, I encourage you to find Farmhand and give it a read. Super lighthearted, very funny, very well put together. Written by uh, Rob Guillory. And I think it's an excellent book, man. Excellent, excellent book. I love that story. All right. We got some more, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to situate them real quick. All right. We've got Batman One Dark Knight, and this is book two. I just picked it up. I want to read it. I want to see what's going on with it. Don't hurt, right? Doesn't hurt. Big comic. All right. Next up, we have Spider-Man 2099 Exodus, issue number one. And again, first appearance of Winter Soldier. The female Winter Soldier. This is that, that picture frame. I call it variant. Uh, next up, we have Gunslinger Spawn, and this is issue number eight. We have Teen Titans Academy. This is issue number 15. I enjoy reading Teen Titans Academy also. This is Spider-Punk, issue number two. Issue number two, spider punk. They about to let all the spiders out the box. Pay attention. This is Venom, issue number two. Venom, lethal protector, issue number two. Haven't read it, but I will. But I will definitely be reading it. I have another, what if Miles Morales became the Incredible Hulk? Yay. They throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks when it comes to Miles Morales. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Got that one. Let's do the big bag first. Let's do this one first. We'll save that one for last. All right. Let's... Okay. So. All right, here we go. We have Superior Spider-Man, issue number one. And this is that one in 50 uh, Stan Lee uh, farewell variant. One in 50. And for those of you who have it or do not have it, this book is actually doing well on the secondary market also. Right? You can see what I paid for it. Um, not quite what they're asking on the secondary market, so I'm cool with that. 
got it, got it for a lot less. And that's what I'd be wanting. All right. The next book is Batman, issue number 399. Just an awesome, awesome. Look at that cover. Yeah. Love it. I love it when I can get classic covers for not a lot of money. All right. Here we have, this is another, I don't know what number it is, though. Oh, something is killing the children. Issue number 22. Yep. We've got Superman Action Comics issue number 1043. Supposed to be another first appearance in this one as well. Some kinship to Mongol I'm hearing. All right. I've got another Legend of X. Legion of X issue number one. Mother Righteous, character variant, design variant. That's what we're calling them, design variants. I've got my Gunslinger Spawn, issue number seven. You see that llama? <laughs> you see that llama? Gunslinger, my guy. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number one. We've got Spider-Man 2099 Exodus, issue number one. And this is, I believe, cover A. We have Vampires, DC versus Vampires, issue number one. And that's just such a beautiful cover right there. John Boy Myers, beautiful. A must-have for my collection. And I want you guys to keep your eyes out because I am going to do another cover lover's delight that I want to present to you guys. And that's where I go into my comic book collection, pull out a lot of my favorite covers, and I just want to share those with you guys. So keep your eyes out on the alert um, when I do the cover lover's delight. Chime in for that. I think you guys will really enjoy it. We have another What If Miles Became the Incredible Hulk. We've got Moon Knight, issue number 11. We got that Rob Liefeld. I like that. Liefeld stepping his game up. That's fire. Classic. A lot of people don't like Rob Liefeld, but I enjoy his artwork. I like that distinctive artwork that he puts out. You know, they get on him a lot about him not being able to draw feet, but I think he's getting better at it. <laughs> I ain't talking junk about you, Rob. You do your thing, bro. <laughs> I love you regardless, man. All right? So, this book came out a few weeks ago. And this is Twig, issue number one. This is that Peach Momoko. Peach Momoko. Twig, issue number one. And Twig, issue number one. I think this was cover A. And last, but definitely not least, coming out of that book, coming out of that pack, is Star Wars, Crimson Rain. And this is issue number four. And this is that Raza red connecting variant cover. All right, we got one more bag here, ladies and gentlemen. I told you guys I had a nice little decent haul. I told you. All right, but this one's going to be real short and sweet. All right? Now, this will give you guys a little clue of some of the books that I have been speculating on personally and keeping my eye out on. All right? Now. This is a book that I've just been wanting in my collection because of the cover. The cover alone has had me chasing this book. And this is uh, Marvel Comics, a Universe X special. This is Spidey. 
I just been that's just a fire cover, man. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Happy to have it in my collection. Definitely had to have it. This next book I want to show you, it's Edge of Spider Verse. I walk with a spider, and this is issue number four, the second print. Giving up all my secrets right now. <laughs> It's all good, because it ain't no fun that the comic book community can't have none, man. All right? Next up, Spider-Woman, issue number one. Yowza! <laughs> yes. Keep your eye out on that one. Pay attention. The next one, Spider-Woman. This is issue number four. Keep your eye on it. And last, but definitely not least, Spider-Woman Alpha, issue number one. That beautiful silk cover. Yes. All right. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I have given you your list. Whatever you do, have fun. Do not jump out of the airplane without your parachute. Remember, this is strike while the iron is cold. And if some of these prices are still too rich for your blood, don't worry. Stay patient. They'll come around. Books cycle like a washing machine. You don't got to hurt nothing. All right? I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by, checking out the channel. Be safe while you're out there on the hunt. Don't hurt nobody. Don't let nobody hurt you. You know what I always say? Don't hate, congratulate. Show some love because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, when you see me, always keep it comics. I'll see you guys next video. Enjoy the hunt.